how are my lovely Ravenettes doing today? Today we're going to be doing part two of our Quora series, which is like a website like Reddit where people ask questions and other people answer. So we're just going over the answers that I have given to questions that have been asked uh, to me. Shout out to Ruben Rock. Go check out his channel. He's really awesome. And uh, do it after you finish watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. But without further ado, let's just dive right on into the cringe. What do you think of the woman who married a 300-year-old ghost pirate? Hey, you do you. I'm not one to judge. An owl family moved into my attic. What should I do now? Leave them be. Odds are they are endangered. Stick a nanny cam in there, though, near the nest, and get a really good look at how owl families function. And post it live on the internet. Should I say to a depressed person, focus on the bright side of things? Why or why not? No. To us, that's like telling a person in a wheelchair to get up and walk. It's impossible. We know that there are other people out there far off, far worse off than us. We know there is a bright side to a situation, but our minds do not see it that way. Why is dust so omnipresent and no matter how frequently we clean, we clean an area, it still comes back? Because the majority of dust is made of dead skin cells. What are your thoughts and what would be your response if slash when someone comes up and screams at you about not having children in public? The answer is quite simple, as I am assuming what OP means as to why someone of childbearing age does not have kids yet. I respond with this, because I don't want my children to end up having the same kind of mental issues that I do. If I was to go off my antidepressants for pregnancy, I'd most likely kill myself before the third trimester. Just because I have the bodily functions capable of having a child doesn't mean I should. What would you say to someone who, that told you the flag and the colors of the U.S. flag, red, white, and blue, offended them? Laugh in their face and tell them to leave the U.S. if it offends them that much. I love geeky plushies, but what do you do with them? Even if I make them for kids, they're just something to store and look at, right? Any ideas? I snuggle up with them before I go to sleep at night. They're so soft and cuddly. What is the number one value to instill in your kids? There is truly no number one value to teach your kids, but if I was a parent, I would teach them the following. Respect those who respect you. Honesty is usually the best policy. Nothing good can happen out past midnight. Keep calm, even in the worst situation. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Give help to those who need it. If you see someone being bullied, hurt, or abused, do not hesitate to intervene or get the proper authorities to deal with the situation. I will always love you, no matter what. Take responsibility for your actions. How do I, a 20-year-old teacher, make my teenage students respect me? Get to their level. You weren't a teenager all that long ago yourself, so you understood understand what it was like for you in high school. Remember your favorite teachers in high school and what they specifically did that made you like them. Try to emulate that in your teaching style. From their voices and your opinion of their general character, what did Henry Stein and Joey Drew look like to you? I always picture Joey Drew looking like Andrew Ryan from Bioshock. I'm so sick of life. Nothing brings happiness. Nothing fulfills. I just don't want to go on. I feel hopeless and don't know what to do. Has anyone had these feelings and successfully overcome them? I can relate to a situation 100%. Depression is a total jerk and it sucks. You know what helped me though? Doing random acts of kindness for people. Offering to carry somebody's groceries to their car. Giving money or food to a homeless person. Comforting someone who is crying. They can be having a terrible day, and you may have made their day so much brighter by that one simple act. That knowledge has always managed to bring a smile to my face, knowing I may have made somebody's horrible day just a little bit brighter. Can school kill you? Indirectly, it can. What I mean by that is the pressure to do well, to get good grades, bullying from students and sometimes even teachers, overwhelmed with homework, yet also doing other things, possibly working a job or sports. Then you add such factors like the SAT and ACT, which determines whether you'll get into good college or not. It's nerve-wracking. Teenagers, heck, even grade school kids have committed suicide because of something having to do with school. So directly, school can't ki doesn't kill you, but the factors involved in school certainly can. Do missing socks and laundry slip into another dimension, or, you can't think or can you think of a more credible or witty explanation for this phenomenon? Actually, your washer can devour socks. What is the tastiest fruit, fruit combinations? Strawberry and, strawberries and lemons, or perhaps raspberries and lemons? 
If we could lick a ghost, what would it taste like? Dirt, blood, and rotten meat. What do I do if my boyfriend wants me to change the way I speak? I don't sound gay, but he gets upset the small sibilance or vocal fry. Break up with him. You cannot control how your voice sounds. Let's say you had the opportunity to go back and talk to the captain of the Titanic before their voyage in his home. What would you say to him? You should do that evacuation drill to make sure you have enough lifeboats. You know, just in case she does sink. Better be to be prepared and nothing happened than ill-prepared and the worst happens. To what extent is communism a mental illness? As a wise man once said, communism is when people get equal amounts of nothing. What is the strangest gender personal pronoun you have heard? Zir, zar, zare? Like, what? <laughs> is it wrong to force your children to obey? A man chooses, a slave obeys. Andrew Ryan. What is the most inappropriate sounding word that isn't inappropriate? Moist. What would you do if your eight-year-old son wanted to go to school wearing a satin blouse and a satin skirt? Ask him why. It's that simple. Is it because he sees his mom wear it a lot and wants to imitate her? A character on a show, in a book, etc. Why does my cat close her eyes when she is mad? She is contemplating how she will bring about your demise in as painful a way as possible. Do you have to be a sociopath to have a full-blown affair with your close friend's spouse while being married yourself? No. Just a horrible person with no sense of morals. Respect the bro code. What is the most pretentious name you can give your child? Rain, King, Saint, Chicago, Purity, Grace, Angel, basically any name the Kardashians give their kids. My 10-year-old is feeling insects under his skin. What could this be? Delusional parasitosis, which can be a side effect of schizophrenia. Specifically, paranoid schizophrenia. Are, full, are growing people's Asperger's still childlike? Yes! I know I am anyway. I'm exceedingly naive and gullible, believing almost anything I am told, still buy and sleep with stuffed animals, curious about everything and wanting answers to questions. Believe in Santa still, to an extent. Love reading books that take place in different universes. Extremely creative, clueless about social behaviors at times. Laugh at the stupidest of things. You get the picture. What is the most fun and chill video game with the least toxic community? Slime Rancher! In your opinion, is Bending an Ink Machine a good game? Yes, except for the last chapter. So much potential wasted. Hmm. If we were to take an alien creature from a different planet, like a Reaper Leviathan from Sonata, and put it into our Earth's ecosystem, what would happen to the ecosystem if anything were to happen? Shit would get crazy. Which mythology would make the best musical? For comedy, Greek. For suspense and drama, Norse. I'm 17 and I've never sneaked out, smoked, been to a party, etc. Is there something wrong with me? Not at all. I didn't sneak out of my house until I was 19 and even then I failed. It means your parents have been raising you right. Why did they teach you maths? All I can remember is the Pythagorean theorem. Hmm. Should children be forced by the state to be separated from their parents before the age of 10 in order to help foster their independence? What totalitarian dicta dictatorship do you live under? Or are you from an ancient warrior-based society like Sparta, where boys are taken as young as seven to be trained to fight in battle? If you were to love letter to your spouse to be opened only after your passing, what would you say? I am always with you, even if you can't see me. What is the most pointless thing we teach kids today? Everything. Kids in school should be taught practical things, especially in high school. The following are classes slash topics that I believe should be mandatory in all high schools. How to budget time and money. How to build a good resume. The laws of the United States, ones related to police involvement. Your rights if police try to pull a fast one on you. How to de-escalate a situation through talking. How to apply for a loan. Any kind of loan. 
how to negotiate negotiate a solution with others in the workplace, how to pay bills, how to apply for insurance, etc., etc., etc. Hmm. My daughter is feeling a bit down because she is in the second year of middle school and is finding it hard to make friends. What should I do? We all recall middle school being hell. Suggest that she gets involved in clubs and regarding topics that interest her, like theater. I'm at the age of 20 and I have three sisters. Two years ago, after my mom's death, my father had remarried a woman but she's a very cruel lady and she hates us. How do I get rid of her legally? Did you just hear a fairy tale? This sounds like Cinderella. I love the proposal, but I didn't like the ring. How should I let my fiance know this without him getting upset? You should be thankful he even proposed to a self-absorbed person such as yourself. He probably spent thousands on that ring and is so deeply in love with you that he proposed. He took that giant risk, knowing full well it was possible that you would say no. But you said yes. Now, though, you want to take his offering and devotion and love towards you and toss it aside, saying it's not good enough or doesn't meet your standards. Tell him. That way he can see how superficial you are and run for the hills. What good or bad off? What bad or awful video games were you optimistic would be great or good, and what are the valid flaws? The last chapter of Bending the Ink Machine. Is Subnautica worth $30? Nah, I got it on sale when it was 20 That was during the winter sale. What is the first photo in your phone's photo gallery, and why did you save that photo? My first attempt at taking a selfie, and I only did it as a silly thing. As an atheist, should I get my Christian friends Christmas presents? When does atheism and not having given Christmas presents to someone who is a Christian even connect? I have ADHD and your logic, or I should say lack thereof, just blows my mind. Do you realize the damage your children are doing by consuming large amounts of Red Bull, Relentless, and Monster, etc.? How do you stop them? Other than increasing the risk of diabetes and addiction to caffeine, no. My biggest question is, who lets their kid drink Monster and Red Bull? What is the most intimidating line you've ever heard or read from a video game, movie, TV show, etc.? If I could just do it with a blade, what that old Spaniard could do with a brush. Dr. Steinman, Bioshock Remastered. If you had to choose someone to be haunted by, who would you choose? Robin Williams. He has always been able to make me laugh. What would happen if from one day to another we started not to care about anything? That is what it is like to have depression. Should we use the term adopted gender and biological gender the way we use adopted children and biological children to explain why men can adopt other genders? Your liberal logic has confused me. Can you reword that in a way that makes sense to the majority of us? If I commit a crime on a cruise ship in the middle of the sea, what laws will I get arrested under? Not if you throw the body overboard and dispose of the evidence. I kid it. Don't ever do that. Hmm. What is the best non-horror, pure survival game you know of? Don't starve, at least in my opinion. Why do parents allow their kids to become addicted to candy, soda, and high sugar foods? I don't understand what you mean. Sugar is present in practically everything we eat. Fructose, glucose, dextrose, and lactose. One time I was angry at my mother over a meal I didn't like. Then my father gave me a lecture about how children in Somalia, Syria, and Gaza are starving. And he said they'd be happy to have this food. What was he trying to tell me? To eat your dang food. God, I hate that argument so much. You know what I did as a kid that stopped this immediately? I went to the filing cabinet, pulled out a letter and a stamp, and handed it to my stepdad. Send it to them then. The look on his and my mother's face was priceless. 
They never tried to pull that bullshit on me again after that. My child fears clowns, but our favorite restaurant is McDonald's. What do we do? Well, it's not like they have people walking around the restaurant wearing Ronald McDonald costumes. My parents say the nuclear war would kill everyone. What should I do? Laugh at them as they begin to build their fallout shelter. Remind them that during the Cold War, the U.S. was concerned about the USSR doing the same thing. And guess what? It never happened. Why do we not ban alcohol advertisements? Because this isn't the Prohibition era. Why shouldn't we beat children as a form of discipline? Because it is, in today's society, morally reprehensible. Kids have been beaten to death because of quote-unquote discipline. When does eye contact go from interesting conversation to creepy? An unblinking stare. And that's where we'll leave off for today. Uh, thank you for listening to this. I hope you all have a wonderful day, my Ravenettes. And I will see you in the next video, which will be part three. Bye.